Hello, this is the timeline template at SharePointDashboards.com and this template is simply showing a timeline for a series of events. This is easy to set up. It only requires use of a few fields. So we're going to have the title field used for the label for the description. And of course, we need a date field, which simply should be called date. And then one additional field so that you can have uh, multiple timelines in your list, you will have a field called group. Uh, so you can do filter views and show just the events uh, for one group. Uh, that could be a project, as in my example. So this is going to show markers on a timeline um, from your specified start and end dates. In my example, I've got it set for January 1, 2024 to 1231, 2024, and it's going to space those out accordingly. And in your settings, you've got lots of options for uh, themes, so you can go for whatever color scheme you want. Uh, you can tweak those. Um, as I mentioned, you can set your date range. And one other key thing is you can adjust the overall timeline width. And this may be especially beneficial if you've got a timeline that has a lot of markers on it, because if you have dates close together, you can run into a situation where you have a little bit of overlap with those markers. So be sure to give your timeline an appropriate width. Um, another option, if you like a square marker, you can select for that as well. I'm gonna stick with defaults. Make sure you give a title to your chart. So I'm gonna just say project timeline, and then that's pretty much it. I'm ready to go. So I can click copy template. I'm gonna follow the directions in this box. And now I can switch back over to SharePoint and I've got my view ready to go. So I just need to select format current view, advanced mode, select all and paste, and then save. And there is my timeline. So if I add another event, it's gonna appear um, and be inserted in my timeline as well. One key thing to keep in mind, you do need to make sure this view is sorted ascending by date. And that will just keep our timeline in order. So just to take a look, let's go ahead and add something to our timeline. Um, I'm going to put a board review. And let's say this is going to be 10-1-2024. And this is part of my Apple's project group. And save. Now, you do, if you do a quick refresh, your page will look right. Ah, send me back to the all items view. There we go. Um, there's board review. And you can see the letter markers are going to be um, in order automatically. So it makes it really nice for your user because they can just look at um, the marker and see exactly where it is. If I want to see where summary meeting is, I see it's a blue circle. I can spot that easily on there. Notice these are hyperlinks. So um, if I click on that, that's going to go right to the um, view over here and I can make uh, tweaks. So I just can type that and hit save. And then um, you can see it's going to update the view for me. So all of this is dynamic and adjustable. You can continue to tweak your dates, adjust them, add new entries, remove entries, so on. Everything's going to adjust automatically. So uh, that's it. That is the uh, timeline template, and that is in the subscription offering at SharePointDashboards.com. If you do not yet have a subscription, you can sign up for 21 free templates, and all you need to do is provide your name and email address for that. Another similar related template that's also available at SharePoint Dashboards is the Gantt chart template, uh, which is very popular. Um, so if you're interested in a similar template um, that has to do with timelines, you can take a look at the Gantt chart uh, as well. So hope you found that interesting and you ha now have a visual way to do timelines uh, for projects and uh, other things with a series of events in SharePoint. Good luck.